Michelle with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. We have Jessica of The Old Barn, right? Yep. Okay. And Bonnie. And Bonnie today, which last time we came here, she was a puppy. You had just gotten her. And she was so cute. I mean, she's still cute. <laughs> but yes, she's grown up. A lot of changes in the house. We were walking through and I could spot a lot of things, but we came back to tour this a third time, actually. Yeah to answer questions and show the things that have changed. And I think what y'all are gonna love about this is you have so much insight on new builds and kind of how to plan and make it work for your family. And so I'm really excited to show and answer all of the questions. Okay. So the first question that we got on here was, why didn't you talk about the exterior more in the first tour? Okay. And so they wanna know paint colors, okay. shutters, it really your planning process for the exterior so let's start there okay I wanted a simple exterior so we just I just went with like a one big gable and I do I wanted a front porch yeah and I wanted that to be the main feature of the front just to welcome everybody who comes and just also to hang out and watch the kids play on the driveway and things like that so that was a big, big choice design feature that we kind of centered our whole plans around. I did a poll one time on Instagram of like, what's your number one thing that you want in your next house? And the number one answer was a front porch. Yeah. Yes. So, and I agree. Yeah, 100%. we agree. Yeah. So I think it just, you know, it's so American and it's so welcoming and friendly. Yeah. And I think it just gives the vibe that we want to give, right? Yeah. So, let's see. Color. Paint color. colors. Paint colors. Um, it's Sherwin Williams, pure white. Pure white. Yeah. And then what about the shutters? The shutters are Sherwin Williams Uncertain Gray. Uncertain. Now they look a little blue. They look blue. But the color is called Uncertain Gray. Okay, and then another thing that I love is the brick at the bottom. Do you have any information about The brick at the bottom is called Fireside and the brand is Meridian. What I love about the farmhouse style with the board and bed. Thank you for the word. <laughs> uh, along with the break in the with the brick or stone or any kind of other texture or medium on the bottom is it just all just make it's not just one big white space. Right. Even though predominantly it is overall white, it gives it so much character and cozy cozy feel. So I love that. It adds just a touch of warmth to an all white facade, but it does something else very functional. And that is where your house meets the ground, the ground is has dirt and it splashes up when it rains. And if that oh. dirt splashes up on your board and batten, your white board and batten, it's gonna get stained. Yes. So that brick prevents the staining of your board and batten as okay. well. Okay, did not know that no. at all, but that is amazing because I have siding on the back of my house and I was power washing it and it was so dirty. So there's some functional element to that it's yes. not just design right. i also love i don't think we showed very much of like even your garage is aesthetic the lights over it and the little pergola is the word we're, <laughs> where we have no words today we're all finishing each other's sentences today but that is so sophisticated and most of the time your garage especially when it's in the front i always wish i would i was able to hide my garage right. whereas your garage i just want to stare at it thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah i mean i put a lot of effort into making it beautiful because it does face the front of the house and so i didn't want it to be an eyesore that you try to hide yeah so we did the carriage doors and we did the little decorative metal accents and the pergola and yeah. it's beautiful um, the barn lights and things like that so yeah, yeah. well those little things add up <laughs> yeah so on the thumbnail, the exterior was the shining star, which might have triggered a lot of clicks, and then I didn't share that much. So now, guys, you got you go. all the details, and you don't have to be mad anymore. <laughs> okay, so when you walk into the house, you're greeted with this glorious foyer with lots of millwork, lots of character, this transom, and then you turn and you have your office. Right. You've changed a lot in your <laughs> office, and yeah. so I want to touch on okay. the changes you've made. Okay. Um, well, I sort of moved my desk out of the office and put in a round table in here because I wanted this space to be more of a family space where we could like pull a book off the shelf and sit down and read it or play a game or yeah. something like that. So um, that's what we've done in there. And um, my desk 
currently is behind the sofa in the living room because I wanted to be next to the cozy fire all winter. Yeah. <laughs> so what well, looks well, really working. good. Yeah. Thanks. So another question that we got a lot, which we actually did answer, but we'll answer again is your flooring. Okay. Tell us about your flooring. The flooring is, um, gosh, I should know the name of it, but I always just tell people to go find the link. <laughs> we'll pop it up on the screen. Yeah. But tell us. It's an engineered wood. Yeah. I know the color is called Robin. Okay. So when you look at the link, pick the color called Robin. It's got a bandsaw on texture. So it has sort of, um, it looks real. Like, sort I mean, of a texture to it. It's yeah. engineered. So the top part is wood. That way you don't have the repeating patterns that you would get like an LVP or something that wasn't natural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm always for the natural. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even if it's an engineered, it's just much better quality, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you don't know, you are an incredible home designer. designer. Yeah. And the floor plans are so unique and so functional, but yet so beautiful. And you are having people build these homes all over the country. Right? Yeah. So they wanted the question in some was, how much did it cost, and how did you plan this? And I, what I loved is when I saw that question, I went to your Instagram, and you had a whole reel about how you saved money mm -hmm. because you you did contract the the build yourself. But another thing is everything has changed. So it's right. not just if she tells you exactly the cost of her house, that's really not going to help you know the exact cost of your house because it's a, I mean right. we built in 2019 so yeah. we moved in in October of 2019 so all of our construction costs happened before the big changes like 2020 changed everything the building prices skyrocketed yeah everything you know interest rates went up everything got a little bit harder when it comes to building a house me telling you how much my house costs isn't really going to help. Also, you're probably in a different part of the country than I am, and yeah. it, that can have a really big effect on the cost. What we did was we self-contracted our build, which saved us at least 25%, probably more like 35%. Yeah. And maybe that's not I for think, everybody, yeah. but I think what's cool is you can see that you have that eye to be able to handle that. The fact that you have a whole board where all of your plans are being built. It's exciting. It's really amazing. So, and you do, as we go through the house, you have a lot of fun ways to save. Right, and not like, for instance, in here, we have all this extra trim work and to offset the cost of the extra trim work, we did the labor ourselves. And so that's where you lost me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's easier than you think. It's easier than you think. Well, I'm brave enough to try it, Mom. Yeah, I'm brave enough to call Shelly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mean, if you've got good bones, then you can take and the sky is the limit. Yeah. Right. So we have a lot more questions. we got to get out of the foyer <laughs> and go into the living room and talk more details. Okay, let's go. Okay. So you walk into the living room with more millwork. It's pretty stinking glorious in here with the vaulted ceilings and everything. Tell us what you've changed in here, if anything. Maybe the pillows, the rug. <laughs> the rug. Yeah, the rug is different. I yeah. think I've maybe changed this table and that table. Yes, there was a round table there. Yeah, I think the, the round table that was here is now in the office. office. So you do what we like to do a lot of times is just like move things to yes. make the room fresh yeah. or yeah. use textiles to yes. yeah. have a whole new feel and right. look. I think I, you know, I had so many years maybe growing up where like I had to live with something that I maybe didn't love because I couldn't afford to do anything different. So I like to have kind of a neutral base that I can keep yeah. for a long time, but then change things like the pillows and the rug and the blankets because yeah. those are cheaper to replace. So yeah. as my tastes change, I can just replace the easier, cheaper things. Yeah, but you did just rotate. Right. The things you and have. rotate things, yeah. <laughs> which I think is a great lesson. If you're feeling like, I really need to change, just move something from your office to your living room and vice right. versa. And <laughs> now this space to me, because of the vault and the shiplap and some of your uh, accessories feels coastal. I, we know you love the beach, it's your favorite. And so there is a coastal farmhouse feel, which is my yeah, thing, yeah. my jam, but one thing that was interesting is that you actually had a client re request this similar floor plan and actually did their own spin right. with 
a mid not mid-century modern they did they're doing i have one doing a craftsman craftsman um some people go a little more modern and then they have just you know like black um accent pieces throughout yeah. and so you don't have to have the exact same right. style right right the layout and the bones again are what make this house but for me the coastal <laughs> is my favorite yes yeah. okay so let's see okay this is a funny question so it's not okay. it's so technical how do you build but this house is so clean it is so put together. Does it always look like this? No. <laughs> and don't go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us, tell us about kind of what is your routine? Do, in general, do you keep it up? Do you definitely downstairs? I maintain like I try to keep it. I call it within five minutes of clean. Okay. Oh, that's that way. You know, if somebody calls, I'm on my way. I'll be there in five minutes. I can get it looking pretty good. Yeah. That's great. Five minutes of clean. I'm doing that. Yeah. So, you know, before I go to bed every night, I just kind of pick up, I put the pillows back. Yeah. Even though my teenagers stay up till like, I don't know, way too late and or when I come in the morning, <laughs> those pillows are not going to be where I left them. Yeah. But, but I do try to keep it clean. Yeah. It allows you to enjoy it. It's not being like a neat Fatal freak or OCD. Yeah. It's just in right. allowing you to enjoy your space, right. which, right. and I think there's, a house can have systems in place to help you keep your house clean. Like if you've yeah. got a place for everything, then it's much easier to keep it clean. Like if you've got mudroom lockers, your kids yeah. know when I come home, that's where the backpack goes, Yeah, you know, things like that. So I think if you have plenty of storage and you have plenty of systems, yeah, it's easy. You should write a blog post about that. <laughs> yeah. Do you have that? <laughs> I need coming up. <laughs> yeah, glean that information. So we'll link Jessica's website so that when she writes that, we can all <laughs> yes. learn. Okay, so the dining room is right behind the living room. And I love that it also has coastal elements and that you have, it's, I love that it feels dedicated, even right. though it's open, right. which if you're building a home, start looking at how that, you know, you can make that happen. One question that we got a lot was, what is the color? Do you have the paint color? That's also Sherwood Williams Uncertain Gray. Really? really? Yes. It doesn't look the same. No. I know. <laughs> okay, and that proves that if you are painting your home, swatches on the wall are really important because that paint color in the front looks different than the paint color. Yeah. And it's just the light. It's just right. light. Right. So many windows that just flood this space. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, Same color. That's wild. Yeah. So no one asked any specific questions, but I want to make sure that we include this in the tour. But your outdoor spaces back here, your little uh, screen, porch. screen porch, and then you've got a new gazebo on right. this side. Right. You have all four sides of the home for entertaining, right. really. Right. Because the backyard is being developed now for an incredible space. You've got on the right, you've got on the left, and the front. Right. How do you decide where you're going to sit and drink your coffee? <laughs> <laughs> That's my first question. That's a good question. It is, it is hard sometimes. It just depends on the day. The, the day. Weather. Like if the mosquitoes are bad, we're going to go to the screen porch. Yeah. You know, if the kids are out in the front yard or the dog needs to, you know, go play fetch, we'll go to the front yard. If, you know, we need a table for dining or playing a game or whatever, then we'll go over there. Yeah. And oh. Well, if I want to know in the comments, where would you sit if you were <laughs> in Jessica's house? Because I would like have this like, oh my gosh. Where now you have a fireplace going, a little fire pit, fire pit down, down by, by the, the lake, lake. Mm -hmm. in the back. Well, and I do want to, I'll pop up a, the reel of this. I was so impressed. She converted a crib <laughs> into a, a swing, an outdoor yeah. swing. That amazing. Did you make that up in your whole, in your head? Yes. Wow. <laughs> that creativity is just beyond my, yeah. you know, what I could ever imagine <laughs> doing. But okay, so I think it's time to go to the kitchen okay. and share those details. So we got so many comments praising your kitchen. It was oh, definitely good. the most, I think, room that people are the most excited about. Okay. But one question that people regularly asked was about your double, double. range. <laughs> Instead of getting one yeah. big long range, she just has two 30 inch. Right. Are you still loving that? I love it. I don't even think about the fact that it's two separate ranges. I mean, I don't see why functionally it works 
probably better than had I got, you know, 148 inch range because I have 10 burners and two full sized ovens. It looks like one range. Right. It looks like one range. I love it. It's, right. I wish I would have thought of it. <laughs> yeah, so, it was a huge, huge money saver. So they're asking what brand do you have? Oh, I, they're Frigidaire. Frigidaire, okay. Frigidaire. And 30 inches wide. But you could do it with any Anything. 30 oh, inch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And my suggestion would be though, I've seen um, like ranges, can they see this? Yeah, one? yeah. Um, where there's this thing on the back. Yes. Mm -hmm maybe don't do that yeah i think that kind of takes true. away from the look um yeah so that i was, was thinking that, that these are so clean right. and there's not a lot of trim and that's right. why they flow seamlessly as almost as if they are one, one, one range mm -hmm. yeah so um i know somebody asked about the sink well so i asked you about the sink i messaged about the sink wanting to know did your countertop people do that but now that i see there is it's not like the seat, it's just the front. Right. It's an embellishment on right. the front. Did you have trouble telling your countertop guy any, or he had it down? I drew pictures um, and I just kind of showed him. Um, it's kind of a European style, something you might see in Europe, but in Europe, the whole sink would be made yes. of the countertop material, but this is just more for functional for me. So no, I just showed him pictures and he was like, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> so, this, so you have a granite sink, right? Yes, it's, it's the composite granite. Composite granite sink, which is so maintenance free. Right. And then you surrounded it right. with this incredible quartzite. Quartzite. Mm -hmm. Quartzite, as we've talked about, is one of my favorite stones because it looks like marble, but it doesn't right. have the issues with stain or staining and, and yeah. things like that. And the thing I love most about your quartzite is that it really contrasts with your white cabinetry. So it's not what everybody has been doing where it's white with gray veining. It's a muted gray right. with whites and gray charcoal, yeah. Yeah. almost a black. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just stunning. So when you look over here, this is like this so eye-catching. Yeah. yeah and it just pops. Yeah. And another fun thing, a lot of people commented, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is the house. I saved this sink <laughs> on Pinterest. And so they were just really excited to see something that they were inspired on another yeah. platform yeah. on YouTube and see the full. And you're very ahead of the trends because now people are really doing Chinese, these a yeah. lot. 2019. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Well, I also built a farmhouse in 2006. It was a Texas farmhouse, but... Wow, oh. okay, so you have it. You've yeah. got the yeah. creative yeah. genius. <laughs> okay, and then I just wanna mention, I mean, I know you guys can see it, but this, you know, situation beam with... Right, rest. those are reclaimed beams from a barn that was built in the 1800s, and we just bought the beams from a local salvager, I guess. Uh -huh. These are the same wood as we have around the fireplace. They're both, yeah. they're all hemlock pine. Is this your most popular thing in your house, you think? Yeah. Yeah. That in the front of the house. Yeah, <laughs> yes. And the living room. Both, yeah, very glorious, <laughs> very inspiring for sure. One thing that we did get questions about was your laundry room. They asked, why didn't you show it? I don't know why we didn't show it. I remember it being, we just didn't. We. Sometimes it's, I mean, it's a lot of filming to get a whole house. <laughs> and so I guess we just missed it, but they want to see the laundry okay. room. And mom asked. Yeah, asked, so I have a lot of questions about the laundry room okay. because you're so great at function, functionality. Yeah. And the brick paving floor is gorgeous, but I wondered, is it, you know, easy to clean? And how do you like the maintenance of that? There's definitely easier to clean choices for sure with all of the grout and the thick grout because it's actually tile the brick is not brick the brick is okay. tile so that that makes it a little bit easier to clean than is as if it were brick yeah but having three eighths inches of grout between each tile that's it's the grout that gets dirty okay, okay. so and so where did you get that brick tile? the tile um home depot okay <laughs> okay i love it and then the other question i had was do you use your pullout? You have actually like a pullout that would be for a folding station in your laundry room, which I just think is brilliant. Just all those little features that really help when you do the worst chore, in my mind, right. in the house. Right, right. I like 
having the window there um, to look out while I'm doing laundry, the natural light, I have to have natural light. Um, and definitely that pull out makes the, the space more functional without taking up constantly having extra space in the room, extra square footage. Yeah. And since like cost of building is so high, it's nice to have multifunctional spaces that you can kind of adapt to whatever you need and they're kind of flexible and transformable. Yeah. <laughs> and so that pull out counter just makes it so that I don't have to have added square footage to have more countertop space. Yeah. Yeah. And then you recently took Bonnie's crate um, and put that underneath so that if she needs to uh, go have her own space, have her own right. space, it used to be underneath the stairs and now she's in there. Right. But either of those spaces are beautiful for Bonnie. Right. So. Yeah. Right. And we care Poor about Bonnie. We care about <laughs> Bonnie's space. We're just here for the dog stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Well, speaking on that front, not the dog stuff, but just the features like that, that little cabinet that you pull out, what is your, if you were to build again, mm -hmm. what is your favorite features to make sure are included in a house? You know, you see, and it could, you could focus on kitchen if you want, but you see different like drawer functions and things like that. What do you think you would prioritize? Um... I think having storage and cabinetry that does everything that you need it to do and store all the things that you need it to store yeah. is huge because that's going to help you keep your house tidy and clean and yeah. um, always looking good for you and for when people come over. I think having it aesthetically pleasing to you yeah. is going to be very important, whatever that is. For me, it's light and bright and airy, and yeah, but also cozy and yeah. warm. <laughs> yeah, and I think you know those types of things, functional things like the cabinetry for sure. In yeah. every room, though, the cabinetry is not just functional, but it's beautiful, and you have a lot of built-ins that are almost like pieces of furniture, like this incredible hutch mm -hmm. that stores a lot of your white pieces of dishware, and then in the powder bath even there's just a really you just took a little nook and yeah. made a beautiful little cabinet there so well and that brings me to something I wanted to ask because I was just you know I look at your Instagram and I'm always seeing something that I'm like okay function pretty function which is hard yeah. I meant to bring it up in your entryway but your little hidden <laughs> door what yeah. is what are you store in there my printer paper um, work stuff Things that are maybe too big to put in other places, like camera. <laughs> yeah. It's, I'm going to show you. You don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> a secret door. Yeah. A secret door. It's really yeah. cool. Okay. Let's end in the primary bedroom because we do have questions from there. Okay. Okay. So now we are in the primary bedroom, which is amazing, just like the rest of the house. And I do, we mentioned this in the first tour, but I just love that every room has millwork every room has some sort of shiplap mm -hmm. board and batten something on the wall to add interest and that type of thing will never go out of style right right and i think i knew i wanted a lot of white and there were some people who may have questioned all the use of white even in my own family but i think when you have texture it makes an all-white room have interest and yeah has a layer of just coziness and character and character like Rich. Yeah. these are things that have been born batten and ship have been around for a hundred years so it's not like so it's a call back to simplicity mm -hmm. right simpler time yeah. yeah yeah and then everything else really pops like right. yeah. anything that you have that's of color the blues the greens the browns they yeah all really just right yeah pop. so our question in here was about these doors okay. So we talked about pricing of like just in general, this was a DIY, right? It was, we ran out of budget and I was looking around at all the scraps that were laying around and I was like, I think I can make my barn doors out of these scraps. So that's what I did. Unfortunately, I don't have a link for you to go buy these. It's just, you Do know, you, have, you should make a tutorial though. I, I should. <laughs> so write your blogs, make your tutorials. I got for homework. Us. <laughs> yes, but they really are really pretty, and they definitely don't look DIY. Thank you. No. That's impressive, and I love that there's like even the detail in the middle. But you know what's for me when I'm scrolling on Pinterest looking for inspiration, and I 
always stop when I see this bathroom. bathroom. And then I realize I know that bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So somebody was selling those tiles are 12 by 24 inches for a dollar a square foot or a dollar wow. a tile, something ridiculous. And so I was like, okay. And we load them in Cody's sedan in the trunk. And I mean, we were like low riders coming <laughs> back home. But you had just <laughs> enough or? Oh yeah, an extra. Oh, oh good. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's, That's amazing. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good five. Yeah. With like any budget. So you can see that there are ways to get a really, really wonderful, amazing looking home that there's ways to save, essentially. Mm -hmm. DIY, mm -hmm. yeah. Facebook Marketplace, yeah. slowly adding. So I love, I love that yeah. about you. Yeah. So I think that wraps up the tour. Okay. I want to make sure everyone knows that they can buy her plans. How many plans do you have now? Um, it's if you on the website. There's currently four plans, uh -huh. um, and we're about to release another one. Yeah. Any, okay. Any day now, hopefully. So okay. soon. And there's a bunch of um, some new smaller ones. Okay. Um, like in the 2,400, 2,500, 2,600 square foot area. Okay. It's great. How many square feet is this house? 3,400 square okay. feet. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's options for no matter what you're looking for, and you definitely should check that resource out because Absolutely. I love this. I love the flow of this house. It's yeah, it's amazing. Open but dedicated and just homey and wonderful and mm -hmm. just one of those places. I have no idea where I would drink my coffee. <laughs> like that's too <laughs> biggest problem. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So like and subscribe. Subscribe to Jessica. Where can they find you? I'm on Instagram at the dot old dot barn and Old Barn Company on YouTube. Uh -huh. And my website is oldbarncompany.com. Yes. All right. Okay, All so right. y'all have a good day. Bye. Bye. Okay. That was good. Good job, girls. <laughs>